2021 is shaping up to be a super time at the movies. And we're only two weeks in. <laughs> huh, Rich? <laughs> Just say true. Yeah. <laughs> and this month right now, the, the remainder of this month, mm -hmm. we've got new movies just stuffed into it. And they're all very interesting, I think. And they're all very different from one another. And uh, we're going to take a look, uh, starting with a timely documentary. Saudi Arabia now suddenly is admitting that Hashogji did die inside that building. Cemal Kaşıkçı alelade bir şekilde öldürülmemiştir. From the Academy Award winning director Brian Fogel comes the untold story of a murder that shook the world. The Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi. It's two hours of PG-13 rated documentary that is not only in theaters now, it's also available on Apple TV, Fandango Now and Voodoo. It's The Dissident. What's so special about my loser son? You really do hate your own mother. She's a woman. Why wouldn't I? When an amateur documentarian sets out to make a film about a man who hasn't left his mother's basement in six months, he discovers the recluse is in fact a vile doomsday hate monger. This was shot on smartphones with a shoestring budget of $20,000 in the filmmaker's own basement with a cast of two and a crew of zero. Cactus Jack is 85 minutes of unrated found footage political horror, but trust me, it's at least an R. And it's in theaters January 22nd. Weight of the world on my shoulders, but I know somehow ah! at the end of the day it'll ground me. Do you miss your mom? The earth under my feet. Can you feel this? Can you feel this? Andrew Lincoln stars as the husband of Naomi Watts, who, after an injury, uh, confines her to a wheelchair. She takes an injured magpie in, <laughs> a little penguin, and makes a profound difference in their lives. It's Penguin Bloom, or, or Penwine, or Penling, or however Benedict Cumberbatch would pronounce it. It's 95 minutes of unrated drama that is in theaters January 27th. You are being considered for the amazing opportunity of life. Wait, wait, what? Now this one's really different. A reclusive man spends his days in a remote outpost watching the live point of view of people just going about their lives until one subject perishes, leaving a vacancy. So he conducts a series of interviews with human souls for a chance to be born. And it may take a while, like nine days. It's two hours and four minutes of dramatic R-rated fantasy in theaters January 27th. And all of those interest me uh, for a different reason. Again, very different from each other, but really interesting in and of themselves. And January used to be this place where Hollywood would sort of dump their movies they didn't have a lot of faith in. But maybe not this this month, this year. I, I kind of lie. I want to check those out. Because we're of all course, craving it. I will. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's what I down. Yeah, we want it. That last one is like the reverse of the Truman Show, you know, where he's watching everybody else, one person in private, <laughs> watching everybody else's lives as they play out. Mm -hmm. That was the elevator pitch. Okay, yep. Truman Show, yeah. but in reverse. In reverse. That's a good one. Greenlit. <laughs> yeah. Done. No. Everybody's inside Here's anyway, wanting to watch TV and we movies. We need more. So make it.